This was the scene in Bemidji earlier this evening as what is being called Winter Storm Wesley finally moved into the north central part of the state after affecting the Twin Cities in southern Minnesota yesterday. High winds and heavy snow at times made visibility difficult even within the city of Bemidji and travel on roads in Lakeland country has been very treacherous. At around 6.30 tonight, MnDOT issued a no travel advisory for north central Minnesota and a part of that remains in effect at this time, including Highway 2 from Bagley to Deer River and Highway 71 from Bemidji to Itasca. Hi everyone, thanks for joining us. We begin tonight with the latest on this April winter storm that has hit the region. Weathercaster Stacy Christensen joins us a little early to tell us what the timeline with this storm is looking like. Stacy, I was conv convinced at two o'clock today we were going to miss it. There was nothing in Nothing in the air in Bemidji at that point. And conditions deteriorated very, very quickly, quickly once it started. Yeah, we had a lot of heavy snowfall. We've had uh, very strong winds, of course, creating blowing and drifting snow. And we still have warnings and advisories out there tonight. We'll take a look at that map for you. Uh, most of the viewing area under a winter storm warning. This continues until 1 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. And a winter weather advisory is in effect for the northwest corner of the state again until 1 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. We've got the heavy snow, we've got the strong winds creating all kinds of problems. Here's a look at our radar picture and we can see just how large this system is impacting pretty much all of Minnesota. We've had heavy snowfall. We've already had reports of 5 to even 11 inches of snowfall throughout our viewing area. And there is more to come because the storm will continue in the area tonight and tomorrow. This is the additional snowfall, including tonight and tomorrow. And as you can see around the Bemidji area, anticipating another six inches of snow, Grand Rapids may pick up another eight. And then again, a little bit less in the northwest. But again, with the winds causing the blowing and drifting snow, this has been a very impactful uh, system as it's been moving through. And we're not done with it yet. Yeah, it was going to be a tricky ride home for, for us tonight. It, it <laughs> will be. I'm not looking forward to that. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks, Stacy. We'll catch up with more information here coming up sure. in weather. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.